What's good, everybody? What is up? I lost my, you notice all these videos have been with this mask on here because I've lost my cold mask. I feel like I've lost my identity. So we're here in Walmart. Welcome to day night live hustle. Appreciate you guys being here. Hopefully we can pull out some dinners tonight. Last week we did pretty well. I think this week we'll do pretty well too. Although Brickseek in this particular um, Walmart, Brickseek's really a no-go kind of thing. So oh, it's like it's like a traffic jam here. I'm gonna head this way. Excuse me. Let me see. So Brickseek is trash right now in the Walmart I'm in, but I'm confident. I'm confident we can pull out some dinners. So let's uh let's get started. What's up to everybody? RG in the building, how you doing? Let's see who's in the chat here. We got a lot of people. You guys join early, I like that. Colby, a big cheese thrift. We got JC, Nemo, Alex, Chris, Miss D, or Ms. D, or Miss Miss D. Michael Mahan, Richard Biznet, Alex O, Nikulus, or Nicholas, <laughs> Leo, Laurel Lee, Trey Way, <laughs> Trey Way, <laughs> Trey Way. Henry Tejada, let's see, Linda, Glenda, Moon, how you doing? Bill, Bam, what's up? Alicia, Alfonso, Donna G, Porter Stillwater, Beth, Chet Nowyowski. Let's get it going. Welcome to the Sunday Night Hustle, everybody. I'm your host, Richie Hustles. Let's get it cracking. There is a Jeopardy game I want to check out. I think, I think this one's $5. I already know that Walmart has had, um, they have had their helmets on sale. A lot of them for five bucks. Just not that one. We're gonna take a look over there in a second. I do wanna go down. <laughs> Let's try that again. Oh, I love lives. All right. Um, all right, now that I've picked that up. There is a Jeopardy game here for, I think $10 or $5. Just want to take a peek since I'm here. This place is always demolished, man. Demolished. Let's see. And if you guys could do me a favor, if you guys are returning to this hustle, if this is not your first time, definitely it helps me out if you smash that like button. Let everybody know you love the hustle. And if you're new and this is your first time here for this live hustle, welcome. Definitely give me a like, share, subscribe, whatever you got to do. I appreciate all and any of it. So let me give you guys, just in case, because there's a lot of, so there's always a lot of new subscribers. So let me just give a breakdown of what we do. So every Sunday night, you see me look, I draw in the Bolo group. You can never find them. Every Sunday night, we do a live hustle, which means um, usually I'm in Walmart, but sometimes we'll go into other stores. 
but lately it's been Walmart on Sunday nights and we'll look for clearance deals or anything that we can sell on Amazon for profit. And uh, what I do is I take you along with me. It's a live look at what I'm buying. Sometimes we find fill a cart. Sometimes we find zero. It's just the nature of the business, right? It's just one store at one time. You know what I mean? We're not going to like five different stores. But um, again, thank you for being here and just wonder if this is your first time, hopefully it won't be your last. And for everybody that's stuck with me since day one, thank you all for being here. You know what's funny? I just thought of that Dr. Dre intro. He was like, for those who have been with me from day one, welcome to death row. <laughs> all right. So I know for a fact these are not on, these are not, these are not, and this is not on clearance. These are not on clearance. This seat is not on clearance. Basically, this area is not on clearance. But there is an area where there is clearance, and I think it may be down here. Ricardo Rodriguez. You know we got to say it the right way, right? How we always say it. Ricardo Rodriguez with the 499 super chat. Thank you so much. Had to walk away from the kids down there. They were going to look at me like I was crazy. Ricardo says, love the hat. Appreciate that. It's, uh, it's actually custom made. Can you guys see the Hustleholics? Hustleholics logo there. Refresh, let's see. All right, we're refreshed. How does that? Is that better? We good? So custom hat, this is part of the merch line um, that I used to have. I actually just got approved to sell, put my shirts on YouTube through, um, you know when you see like the merchandise uh, underneath the videos? I'm gonna take my shop, my Shopify store, and I'm gonna upload it to Spring Tea. So if anybody wants to grab t-shirts, hoodies, whatever it is, the option's there. If not, no hard feelings, it's all good. But this hat will be on my merch site when I figure it all out. Okay, so again, these, so at first look, man, I got a ton of helmets recently and I don't see any of them here. Um, oh, this one though. Hmm. So I did get a Paw Patrol helmet. The girls one. I wonder if the boys one is on clearance. I did get the girl Paw Patrol one. And it was $5. No, not this one, though. Okay. All right. Let's see. Ah, uh, this helmet. Actually, is this the... Oh, that says child. There was a blue helmet that was adult. This says child, but look, you got to check them all. These other ones I've scanned at other stores. They're not on sale. They might be on sale near you, from where you're watching, but for my hood, not on sale. Yep, we're gonna head, usually we head to the clearance aisle first, but one of the Walmarts, the last Walmart I was at, all the clearance was, was here with the bicycle section. So, um, Let's go. Let's see what we got. That little girl wanted to scrap. I was scared. Oh, I pick it up. I'm just joking. I'm just joking. I talk so much ish. You guys know that. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Uh, see, like before 
like this. It was, it was on a stand like this. I know it says $24.97, but the other Walmart I was in had helmets in the middle of the aisle that was clearance. Okay, maybe they are in clearance. Who knows? This clearance aisle here is always hit or miss. It looks like it has a bunch of crap. <laughs> so let's see. I mean, look at all the shoes. Who? Let's see. What are these? Lunch on the go bags. Normally 15 marked down to 9.99. They have a ton of them here. I wonder if this is any cheaper. No, $9.99. And then if we want to scan it with Amazon, it's not going to come up. I just wanted to see because they had a ton of them. Um, like, what is this freaking Salvation Army over here? Are we at Goodwill? I've never seen shoes like this laid out like that at Walmart. You got these AX3000 routers. Hundred bucks, that's not gonna be worth it. See, did we get another? I think we might have got another. London strolling, two pounds, which is probably like five dollars American. <laughs> Do the dance, please. What dance are we talking about, London? What dance are we talking about? Are we talking about the dance that I always do in the middle of the aisles? Oh boy. Mag light. Let's see here. These were like five dollars before. They're fifteen, but I want to see if they're worth fifteen. Yeah, and oh, look, isn't that crazy? Twenty-one nine nine because, damn, the price tanked on that. These killed this listing. Killed this listing. This listing for this Maglite used to be like 40 bucks for this thing. They killed it. Price tank is you killed it, man. Another one down there. Seventy dollars. That might be a little too pricey. The uh, the nest has been going for for a pretty for a good amount. Yeah. See, we're not going to make anything on that. Soundbar. That's a Samsung soundbar. You pay two twenty four twenty five for this. That's, it's an open item. See that? That's you got to be careful for. This was already sold to somebody. And it looks like it was a return. Coleman. This looks like a sleeping bag. $25.99. We're gonna lose money. They want $15. What, what, what is up with this place? So far, we say garbage. That's how we do it. It's okay, it's cool. It's gonna go down this way here. Thank you. 
Um, so now I'm in electronics. Yeah, so missed another super chat. The last one I got was. Oh, we got Teofilo Munoz Ham, $5 super chat. Thank you so much. Let me follow up with the last super chat. I want to know what dance I need to do. Do the dance. Hold on, but what dance? The dance that. I mean, look, we had a hustle. You know what I'm saying? Maybe I can do the dance at the end. Anybody know where Waldo is? I know, bad joke, sorry. Guys, Walmart, literally. So I said that if this visit or the next time I go to Walmart and it ends up being complete trash, the next live, I'm gonna switch it up and we're gonna go to somewhere else. Maybe Dollar Tree, uh, maybe Marshall's. Who knows? We'll go somewhere. I think Dollar Tree, you, I think you people like Dollar Tree. If, I mean, at least my audience, according to my analytics, um, people love the, you guys love Walmart, first and foremost. Uh, you guys love when I do the Walmart videos. At least this is, again, this is according to like the numbers, my videos, and um, at least that's, that's what it says. And then the next one is, looks like it's like Dollar Tree videos. You guys like Dollar Tree videos, and then after Dollar Tree videos is Marshalls and TJ Maxx and so and so. So maybe we'll go to a Dollar Tree next time. But man, have you guys been having uh, fifty dollars? Yeah, not this moment. You guys been having any luck? Ninety-nine cent only store. I mean, that's like the dollar store, right? Let's see. Let's make our way down here for a minute. Because I do want to see... Uh, and again, that might... I hope I don't get a copyright strike. Because now I'm going into like the loud zone. And it's like getting funky over here. We got Prince up on the loudspeaker. Um, so if I say um a lot, it's not because I'm saying um. It's because I'm trying to block out the music. Over here, this, man. Let's go check. All right, look. I'm going to give you guys a, a quick a quick bolo in, in household. Because... There is a, um, there's a couple of products that Walmart carries that you can find. How you doing? Quick, you busy? I'm you filming. Yeah, we on the live. You want to say hi? Oh. <laughs> Never rise, <laughs> <laughs> I knew that if I pointed the camera at them, they wouldn't want to talk after that. Excuse me. How you doing? Uh, like, why is this here? Not even for that. All right, let's go. So hold on, I'm looking for the product. Some of you guys always say I do a lot of toys and nothing else. So I'm not sure if it's this scent, the lemon, but we could try it. Pack of six. No. So they've come way down. So this here, is 388 you're not going to make much on it this one you used to make at least a couple bucks on because it was um it was lemon scent I mean, you can sell a pack of six make 27 but if you do 
you're only gonna make three dollars on that four dollars maybe uh like four or five bucks if you bought six of these and sent them in but i mean to buy six of them make a dollar each it's like you know we're not we're not in that life They used to be the, is it this one? I'm gonna find it. I hope the price didn't tank on it. I haven't bought it in a while, but it was one of these scrubbing bubble things too. Nope, not this one. Amazon came down hard on the cleaners, like real hard. Started deleting all these listings. Yeah, see? They're not profitable anymore. Like, what was you looking for? What, like... She ain't even on that side anymore. She was, she was literally reaching behind my, my carriage. And then when I turned the eye, she was on the other side of the aisle. Like, what were you looking for? That my carriage was in your way. These people, I swear to God. Excuse me. Thank you. Let's see. Do you ever source at Big Lots or Ollie's? Big Lots, no. Big Lots to me is trash. I don't source Big Lots. I, don't, I went into Big Lot one time, I walked in, 10 minutes later, walked out, see you later. Just wasn't my thing. That, and I, I put it in the same category as Kohl's. Kohl's to me is trash. For sourcing, I'm not talking about for shopping. If anybody shops at Kohl's, I'm not saying it's trash to like shop there. You know what I'm saying? I'm saying for resellers, at least for me, um, I don't find a lot of profitable items. There are a lot of people that do find profitable items in Kohl's and big lots, right? There's like certain like coupons you can get and I guess you get benefits, Kohl's cash and all that stuff. And sometimes they have like one or two products that are like good and you pull the trigger like online. But other than that, to me, it's trash. That's just my opinion, right? Let me see, I don't want to go next to the Verizon people again. They're gonna, they're gonna want like, they're gonna want to do like a guest appearance. The Verizon people. See, Walmart where you can shop and get your meat. You know what I mean? Walmart's doing it big, baby. You can look in the baby aisle for some wipes and cook a rump roast. That's how you do it in Walmart. Okay. All right. Um, I want to check out tools. I want to check out candles. Check out tools. Uh, beauty. So far, guys. Empty cart gang. But that rarely happens, right? I think it's only happened once or twice, maybe. I can never find the candle aisle. Let me pause. Let me see who's in who's in the chat because I haven't, I haven't. Oh, you know, I always want to do that when there's like a speaker right there. Hold on one second. Ah, <laughs> uh, candles, candles, candles. Where am I gonna find the candles? Na, 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 na. I'll stop singing. Uh, candles, where are you? Right in front of my face. Uh, fireside, wasn't? I know the pumpkin butter was, was on clearance, but I swear, I swear to God, there was a gray one there was a gray one that was on clearance too. I know I'm not seeing things. Not that one. Let me 
Let me see. I need to get somewhere where like nobody's at. You know what I mean? You know what? It's it's Sunday, so a lot of people. Here we go. Ready? Let me park right here for a sec. Whew. What is up, man? Let me put this. Let me put this down. Okay. And of course, when I come here, somebody's gonna come down the aisle, right? You're gonna see five people walk by now. Ready? Cinnamon chai is on clearance. Yeah. Here he comes to wreck the day. Got some Pokemon cards and some cheap Halo, Halo toys from Dollar General. I have to go to Dollar General. I haven't gone there uh, since I did a video on them. I wasn't I wasn't crazy about them. Go grocery barbecue sauce area. Okay, I will. Ollie's gets the Walmart clearance that doesn't sell. Okay, never been to Ollie's. I've never even set foot and an Ollie's. Wood smoke was the gray one. Yep. But that was in the candle melt, right? Pumpkin butter price tanked hard. Okay. The Dollar General penny list usually comes out on Fridays unless we get a surprise. Here comes another three people to my right. Just picked up tobacco pipe, sent the candles for resale, five bucks profit. Okay. Yeah, we're gonna go to Sporting Goods. We're gonna go to Tools, uh, Tents and Canopies. Okay. Uh, I found something from Ollie's and now everyone caught on. Once it sells out, I'm done. <laughs> Where, I think they only have an Ollie's in Rhode Island. I don't even think there's one in Massachusetts. Giant Eagle. I've only seen one of those. Or maybe I thought I saw it, but Giant Eagle, I know that's a grocer chain. I'm gonna try Penny Day. So Suburban Beard tried to put me on uh, the Penny List. Or Penny Day, or tell me to, to go when they have Penny Deals, but I've never, uh, I've never done it. People Tank. Harbor Freight is awesome for eBay. Uh, right, so what are you ordering? Are you ordering on the Harbor Freight website and then just sending it to the customer? All right, let me get out of this aisle because now, ready? One, two, three, four, five, six, Let's keep it pushing. Oh, 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 oh. He didn't even stop at the stop sign. Um, so they have tents here, but I don't think these are the tents. Actually, you know something? I think this tent, can you just listen? I mean, listen, I'm gonna get a copyright strike because I can't keep talking, right? Listen to how loud this music is. It's inevitable for me to get a uh, copyright strike. 64 bucks. No, that's not what I was thinking. Uh, I think that was it. That might have been it, actually. Because I think it was marked down 64 from 154. The 177 on Amazon. Not profitable. Um... I'm gonna go down these aisles in a second, but you know what, guys? It's uh, the music is so loud. I, I really think I'm gonna get a copyright strike on this video. Let me check out tools. Tools is straight ahead, and then I'll head back to the sporting goods. Yeah, we're gonna go back. To, we're gonna go back. But right now, Baila Moore is like screaming over the speakers. Right now, it's very passionate over there. So it's like, you know what I mean? I'm just letting letting it calm down for a little bit, and then we're gonna head over to to Baila Moore. You know what I mean? <laughs> it's, it's like it's really blasted over there. It's like Latin night over there. They're gonna start blasting that merengue. We're gonna start dancing.
Plus, I want to see if there's any more of those compressors. I just literally put those air compressors online um, yesterday. So we'll see how they sell. No more cable. Again, buy a little more. Here we go. No matter where I go, they're blasted this song. It's like, they're like, like. <laughs> I mean, might as well dance, right? I mean, a goddamn nightclub in here for crazy sakes. See, they had, hmm. Uh, oh, that's the LED work light. Oh, that's another thing that we need to check is the Everlast. Wow, this, this Walmart is like freaking trash, man. This place sucks. Uh, where is the, I don't even want to go over there. I know, I'm gonna check out the camping, the sporting goods, and the kayak section. I know, I know, I know. That's where we're gonna go next. I just wanna see if I can see lighting. Last time I saw the lighting in automotive, like, this is like cleaner, and that's not what I'm looking for. I'm looking for, ah, maybe down here. What's up, Jenny Gonzalez? How you doing? Uh, oh, you know what? They have heaters on clearance too right now. It's, it's, hold on, hold on. There is one heater. It's a, it's a black heater. And of course they have everything but the black one. I used to make bank on heaters. Two hundred six people in the live. Thank you so much for joining. We're here at Walmart, grasping for air, trying to find a deal. But this Walmart in Rhode Island is complete trash. It's so trash that it's just friggin' trash. That's all I gotta say. Ah. Uh... So we got paddles over here. Um, I should have picked a different Walmart in Rhode Island to go to. All right, so seven person tent, right? Sleeps eight. But honestly, I, this in this spe uh, specific Walmart, I was looking on BrickSeek I was looking at the tents, and the tents are not even, honestly, that profitable. They're not, the price isn't low. Check the accessories with the kayaks, hidden clearance with the kayaks. Okay, hold on. So there was, there was some kayak paddles on the other side. Um, you know what? These things might be hidden clearance. I've seen some of these go down. Let's scan. I feel like I'm gonna scan something. I'm getting the agile if I'm not scanning. 894. Um, I know there's a pink, there's a pink one, there's a blue one that's on clearance. But I've already looked those up on Amazon and it's not profitable. So a lot of times. Walmart Wi-Fi is trash. But it's better than using the cellular data because trying to go live over cellular data is even more trash. <laughs> Trust me. Oh. oh, man. So tennis rackets. I found some tennis rackets that were $5 in one of the Walmarts. Here, it's going to be like 100 1246. These, these will eventually go on clearance. 
make sure when they do, you pick them up. I've gotten these as low as seven dollars, uh, but generally they go to nine dollars, and they sell for forty something dollars. At least I pushed them for forty. Oh, look at this though. Hold on. When did Walmart carry Under Armour? What? But these aren't discounted though. These are like full price ads. I got excited for a minute there because like 25, it says, oh, that says Adidas hat. Under Armour at 22.88. When did they start carrying Under Armour in general though? Okay. So literally, so I guess what happened was the internet. I switched over to, <laughs> yo, I don't know what happened, man. Wow, we went from, that just killed the live. We were at 215 down to 78. Yeah, so um, I was trying to refresh. It wouldn't refresh. So I um, I got off of Walmart's Wi-Fi, and now I'm on cellular data. So we'll try cellular data for the rest of, we'll try for the rest of the stream. So, all right, welcome back. I don't even realize, I was probably talking to myself for the longest time too, because I didn't, like, my, the picture was on, it looked like I was recording, but I, when I looked up at the timer, it was like at a standstill, so. Anyways, what I was trying to say was, like, check this out. Oh, you really in the tents? Damn, I was talking to myself for like 10 minutes. Sorry, guys. My B. Um, what I was saying is, besides like Ollie's and Walmart and stuff, where do you guys source? Because this is a garbage trip. I can already, I'm gonna, I mean, I'm gonna go check out some beauty right now. But where do you guys normally source? I mean, not even Elmo is profitable anymore. And Elmo was my go-to. This is where I want to go to, right here. Let's see. So I bet you this one... So I bet you, hold on, listen, listen to me. Full price. Well, it's already too late now. I already paid 123 fucking dollars. Bro, it's gonna, it's gonna ruin my, yeah. Sorry. Now you good. She angry as hell. And that's that's another thing. Let me let me just talk. Let me and that's another thing. Everybody up here in the northeast, y'all are angry. Everybody's angry. Maybe it's the weather because the weather sucks, but man, I'm telling you, a lot of people are angry up here. Florida, everybody's nice, chill. Let's just see if this. Let's see if this scans. Yeah, I think it's the cold too. Everybody's just BS, you know. People are upset about. The problem is, I'll say it once, I'll say it again. The problem with human beings is that um, accountability. Nobody likes to hold themselves accountable. Everybody wants a shoulder to lean on or something. See, Elmo, that's the real listing, right? Because I am restricted in Sesame Street. But if I type in Elmo, this is the listing I was selling on. $34.55 is no longer profitable. You can see the last price I sold it at was 50 bucks, And I was pushing them out at 50 But unfortunately, not even... Oh, we should look for Mr. Potato Head, right? If they even have any, and just hold them to them, they're five bucks each. Would Mr. Potato Head be here? Yeah, Mr. Potato. That's my Boston accent right there. Potato. Mr. Potato, where you at? 
Did you park the car over there, Mr. Potato Head? <laughs> Alright, that's what we need to do. We need to find Mr. Potato Head. So for real though, like for real, for real, this this Walmart visit the trash. And um, I think next Sunday I'm gonna go somewhere else for a live. For instance, I could walk, I could literally walk into any Marshalls and easily drop a grand and show you guys what I'm buying at Marshalls. But here's the problem with Marshalls, right? Marshalls, TJ Maxx, I am ungated in a lot of brands that a lot of you guys are probably gated in. So like where I'm making money on Nike, Adidas, Under Armour, uh, toys, right? Some of those things, it's like I could show you exactly what I'm making money off of, but I don't, I don't think it's going to bring you much value, which is why I don't go to Marshalls and do lives. I don't think it's going to bring much value because I think a lot of you are going to be gated in, in those items. You know what I mean? So when I do these lives, I want to show you items that you can go get. And I know a lot of people are still gated in toys, but... Uh, that's and that's why I do a lot of toys because I know majority that's what a lot of people can sell Toys is not a difficult category to get ungated in Anyways, that's why I always come to Walmart because I feel like there's a variety of items where I can show you I don't see mr. Potato Head. Would mr. Potato Head be in this aisle? Or would it be in the next aisle? Would it be with like bluey Peppa pig? Would it be like down here? Yeah, I went into electronics over. It's garbage. It's garbage, kid. It's freaking garbage. This whole Walmart's trash. But I'm trying to find me some fight all Mr. Potato Heads. Because I'm, yeah, you are. I don't know what kind of laugh that was, but that was like a. I want to laugh, but don't want to laugh. But I'm going to laugh anyways, because if I don't laugh... Um, where am I right now? <laughs> not in the aisle, the end cap. Yeah, I've been looking on the end caps, trust me. So it's not in the Barbie aisle. It's not on the end caps. Oh, sorry. Much be Twitch streamers. They look like Twitch streamers. So I don't think it's in this aisle either. Find a Fort Lauderdale next week. That's what's up. Oh, man. So the Jeopardy, the board game Jeopardy, that's a good one. I can't find it here, but I'll tell you. There's Jeopardy, and then there's also See, it's usually by Play-Doh. I feel like Mr. Potato Head is always by Play-Doh. Or by these things or something. Uh, Mr. Potato Head got arrested. He's nowhere to be found. So, let me ask you guys a, a question because a lot of you guys have been with me for a while now. What do you guys feel about, how do you guys feel about Twitch? No, I'm not switching over. I just want everybody's, I just want your input on Twitch. My idea with Twitch is that I was going to do, I was going to move over Pokemon or I was at least going to do multi-streaming uh, the Pokemon and get more hardcore into collectibles and do a Twitch stream show off about um, a lot of the collectibles. Because I am going to buy, I know I've said it for the last two weeks now, but next week I am going to buy a, um, a new computer or uh, after the 21st. I'm gonna buy a new MacBook Pro. And I was thinking about multi-streaming on YouTube and on Twitch, but only the collectibles. Like I'm, I'm not gonna do these type of lives on Twitch because I love my YouTube audience, my Hustleholics crew, you guys, you know what I mean? I love it, but I, I'm thinking about, because when I associate collectibles, I feel like it's more 
gaming collectibles and and you know your boy got the ps5 right so i was thinking about like streaming spider-man like doing um friday night hustle holic hangouts but like maybe one time do a multi-stream and uh stream like spider-man on the ps5 and still talk to you guys while i'm playing the game you know what i mean like just make i'm trying to do something a little different bring you a little bit different content and i know there's a lot of people that do collect things and there are a lot of gamers that follow me and a lot of collectible a lot of, a lot of collectors that follow me so i'm thinking i'm thinking maybe do multi streams maybe do some gaming streaming during like a hustleholic hangout i think that would be kind of fun then just seeing me in my living room you know what i mean answer questions while we play the game i think that would be kind of cool what do you guys think let me know and it doesn't have to be spider-man right i can go buy like three other games maybe we do gta or something or whatever games are available i'm not a big gamer i like gaming but i'm not like hardcore so i don't even know what's out <laughs> i just want to be i want to do different you know what I mean? i'm all about being different nobody does these these live hustles you know what i mean i think as far as i know i was one of the first people if somebody does it now cool um, I think more people need to do it to bring more transparency and, and honesty like right now is what it is You know what I mean? Like I'm missing time with my family and You know, I drove a half an hour here We'll spend an hour here, right? And then half an hour drive home. So that means I've wasted two hours Two hours I've wasted but that's that's just that's it is what it is You know what I'm saying? That's part of the business. So I still want to keep Sundays here, but I'm thinking about multi-streaming on Twitch and YouTube Saturday, Friday and Saturday nights when I get the new computer. So just um, if you think that's a good idea, let me know in the chat. Let's see, Mr. Potato Head. I think once you get partnered with Twitch in the contract, you're not allowed to stream on other platforms. Yeah, okay. I, th I think you're right, but I wouldn't, I wouldn't want to partner then. Dr. Dr. Hustle. <laughs> so let me ask you a question. So, so when you say a Twitch partner, is that optional? Is that the only way you get paid from Twitch if you become a Twitch partner? Or is that totally different? Because there's no way, especially with Twitch, I would, never, I would never just go exclusively to Twitch. You know what I'm saying? Just wouldn't do it. Yeah, I mean, the only reason why I like Twitch is because it's, it's, I was thinking about doing like a gaming hustle and like, and you can do Twitch and YouTube. I would grow this audience to five times more, more revenue coming in. Yeah, I mean, I like, like I said, I just floated an idea and I'm not thinking about moving over to Twitch at all. I love YouTube. I love streaming on YouTube. I love the Hustleholics fam on YouTube, but um, I do want to bring different content you know what i mean like i know gaming isn't different but gaming while talking amazon's different i don't see anybody doing that right nobody's out here on a sunday live streaming hustles you know what i mean oh that brings me to another thing i just remembered yo this is what we're gonna do ready see this see this thing right here cart carriage buggy, trolley, whatever the hell you want to call this thing. Just remember this, okay? Just remember this. Because what we're going to do is we're going to rehab a Walmart carriage. That's what we're going to do. We're going to stick this bad boy in the truck. We're going to paint it gold, shiny chrome gold. We're going to do some clearance decor over here. We're gonna have some chrome wheels on it. I swear to God, you'll see. And then after we doll it all up, we're gonna take a shopping. Yo, you don't even understand what I got planned for 2021. It's, it's gonna get crazy. I'm all about being different. I'm all about taking risks, so. I swear to God, so look, check this out. I, already, I can already tell you what I'm gonna do. All this is going to be gold, like a shiny 
gold, okay? Like it's a goddamn trophy, okay? These bumpers, we're gonna repaint, resurface those. Those are gonna be black right here. We're gonna keep the handlebar blue. This is gonna be gold. This is gonna be blue. And we're gonna hand, uh, we're gonna make a stencil and it's gonna say Walmart hidden clearance or uh, Walmart hustler or something. We're gonna do something. Here, we're gonna refinish that. All this is, we're gonna take this off. We don't need, we don't need any seat belts, okay? Over here, inside there, we're gonna paint chrome. I swear to God, I already told my wife and she thinks I'm nuts and she thinks I'm gonna get arrested. <laughs> I'm gonna literally gonna pick this up. Not this one though, cause it's gonna be, it's gonna be a decent one, right? And I'm gonna, and I'm gonna, <laughs> I'm literally gonna film my rehabilitation. I've had so many crappy Walmart carriages that I thought to myself, man, I, I little WD-40, some nice paint. We're gonna make this Walmart carriage look like a king. Stay tuned. It's gonna be dope. I swear to God, it's going down. Man, with green accents, go for honey green for the money. Yeah, we could do that. We could do that, but we gotta keep it. We gotta keep this blue though. You know what I mean? Because it's gotta be that clearance sign I, I have too. We might incorporate that on the side. I'm gonna have to. I'm gonna have to get another one though for the other side. Or I might just keep it clean. Gold. It's gonna be dope. Stay tuned. That's funny. Somebody said they used the WD-40 in Walmart to lube the wheels. That's funny. All right. Well, honestly, I don't think. So honestly, guys, I just don't think it's gonna happen today. Walmart hidden crappy clearance, not here. It says, how long did it take you for you to be able to quit your job? More to come on that. I can't talk about it. But you, you don't understand, and that, and that, that, that shopping cart idea is one idea you have to hear it like you you don't understand the crazy things i'm thinking all in good fun you know no nothing to i don't want to hurt anybody emotionally verbally physically nothing like that but we're gonna have some fun we're gonna have some fun go to grocery okay that's right i'm gonna go to grocery and then how did those desk lamps sell uh, i'm still selling them i sent in 200 uh, 200 and I think 47, like 247 of them. And I think I have about 80 left, but they've been, they've been selling. They've been selling at a decent price point. I'm making a profit. I paid a dollar each. I'm at least tripling my money. So at least anything to hold on one second. I didn't get a chance to look at the Pokemon section here. Um, I at least tripled my money, but I think the goal was to make four times the money. Last time there was a lot of people over here. I couldn't really get a look. Nothing. How do we say it in, in the hustle language? Garbage. All right, let's head over to grocery. All right, somebody said go in the grocery and then check out the barbecue sauce. So we're going to check out some barbecue sauce. Let's see who moves first. Let's play chicken. Ready? Excuse me. I'm such a ball buster. I'm sorry. It's just my personality. All in good fun. Um, I would never say it loud enough where she could hear me. Because she probably whooped my ass or something. All right, uh, barbecue sauce. Uh, would it be down here? Yeah, we in there right now. Um, so what are we looking for? Sauces are on clearance. What kind of BBQ are we looking for here? Getting more of the Pokemon cinnamon toast. Yeah, I'm gonna look while I'm here. 
um, why did this come up to my recommended? You must know I like to make money all day. Hot sauce and ketchup is on clearance also. Bullseye. Bullseye BBQ. Let's see, Sweet Baby Ray's, A1, Sweet Baby Ray's. Uh, I'll check an end cap. I don't see any bullseye here. Is it right in front of my face again? Bullseye Pit. Okay. Is this the only barbecue sauce here? I don't see it. I see Casey Masterpiece, Sticky Fingers. Oh, wait, 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 wait. What's this? I see some clearance tags, but... Original. $0.80, cents, $0.55. Cents. It looks like somebody was already here. Well, this is Heinz. New Own Honey. Original. This is a dollar. What? Honey barbecue? I'm confused, man. Wait, does that say honey barbecue 55 cents? Hold up. <clears throat> honey barbecue sauce. Is this 55 cents? It says 55 cents. And I'm pretty sure it says honey barbecue. Whoop, whoop. We're going to have to get on our hands and knees for this one. Giggity. Hold on. Hold on, let's see. But it's not coming up on Amazon, bro. Where am I going to sell this? I know it's 55 cents and I should just get it anyways, but... Hold on. Newman's own honey barbecue. I know you said you were pushing it on eBay, but hold on, we might we might have had sticky barbecue. Sticky barbecue. Uh I'd hate to not get it at 55 cents. Do you know what I'm saying? But it's, it's just not here. It's 55 cents though. I mean, honestly, I'll friggin' shoot my shot, man. 55 cents, right? All right, and then, the originals, there's a ton of them back there, I think. I'm actually looking on the camera to see my adult ass can't honey all right so shout out to yeah <laughs> how low can i go not that friggin low i'll tell you that let me see no You just asked me if I worked here. Just do pull up your pants, bro. <laughs> All right, let's see. Let's see how many more am I gonna split my pants? <clears throat> Shit, hold on. <clears throat> hold on, guys. There's literally, uh, I just touched something fucking nasty back there. Now I got originals now. This is it. This is it right here. Uh, let's see if this original is bringing back anything. So we got a dollar on the originals. Pack of three. So check this out. Winner, winner, chicken dinner. So let's grab the originals too. Yeah. Come right here. Come right here. 
Cocktail sauce? Tubular, yeah. Should be about the shrimp. Uh, I would, yeah, I would think it would be about the shrimp. Yeah, I would think. So instead of looking down, right, we've got to look up. And we got more honey joints. Hold on one second. So, so Port of Stillwater, big shout out to you. You saved, you get, uh, you get Hustle Star of the Day for what it's worth because you saved this day for, hold on, let me, let me tell this dude I got cocktail sauce. My man, a cocktail sauce. Catch? There you go. See, you always gotta help everybody. More honey. Um, there's some more up there, but I mean, there's like one more up there. Got your boy winded, man. Uh, whatever, they can keep it up there. Uh, there was no more on the bottom. I grabbed all of it. But that big bottle, I want to see. Um, let's see. Right here, because now I'm curious if this is. But I need I need one more original to make a three pack, or else what's what's it? Dollar fifty, which I think is the regular price. But I want to see if. It says six. So that's gonna be a loser for six. Bullseye, nope. All right, so we need to see if we can, if there's at least one more bottle of original down here. <laughs> of course there's not. So I can't even make a three pack because I only got two originals. Not on the bottom. Shit. <sighs> Things I do for the hustle, for the live stream, right? Got your boy on his hands and knees getting hot, getting barbecue sauce. <laughs> Should I move on? I don't have, um, let me see if this is profitable just selling one of them because they only have two. I'm gonna head to the cereal aisle in a second. No, they only have a three pack. You know what I can, you know what I'll do? I'll buy it and I'll just go to another Walmart. We'll get some more, it's a dollar. I see a rat. Don't tell me that. Yeah, RG, exactly. That's what I was thinking. I'm getting a Newman's. That should be criminal. Ketchup Heinz. Heinz ketchup is on sale too. He did. That's what he said. He said, I asked homeboy if he worked here. See, <laughs> you never, you never know what you're going to do. And that's why. I love live streams too because everything is like just raw. Let me ask if she. Any Newman's own barbecue sauce here or no? Uh, like the no. bottles, like these ones? Any cases or anything like that? I don't think no? So. Well, Newman's own? Uh, barbecue sauce. Uh, it's Stubbs. Okay. Okay. No problem. No, it's cool. Thank you. Always gonna ask, right? 
Hidden Valley Ranch. Okay, we have a lot of uh, grocery shoppers on, on the live. Somebody said Heinz ketchup. Sriracha, sir, Kensington, spicy ketchup. For real though, spicy ketchup. I mean, I like the sound of that. Hold on. Looks like it's a grocer's night tonight. 280, that's not the one we're looking for. It's the big ketchup, like the one that was probably right there for $1.65. Yep. Yeah. Gone. It's gone. That's 38 ounce, 38 ounce. This is for 64 ounce. Maybe they have it on an end cap or something. Not gonna lie, I never hustled food like this. We got a lot of people shopping grocery here, huh? I just wanted some cereal. You guys got me looking for some barbecue sauce. Going old school on the hands and knees. Oh, you know what though? I do need some soy sauce though for the house. Hold up. <laughs> just saying. But I need like the, yeah. Had sushi tonight and I ran out of soy sauce. I was so sour because we had a little bit at home and then like we used all the packets that came with it. So I know you guys don't care. You're like, shut up and just hustle, man. Let's see. Cereal, cereal. I see Pikachu cereal boxes. Now here's my question. I still have 32 unopened boxes. Do I get them? Or do I not get them? Because here's the deal. Each, each of these come with a Pikachu card. Same Pikachu card. But it also comes with another hollow and another card. They might be gone, but did have $2 Marvel pajamas for kids. Ah, oh, man. Okay, let's see. So we got two, four, six, eight, 10, 12, 14, 16, 18, 20, 22. 24, 26, 28, 29. It's 29 boxes. I found Pokemon Cocoa Puffs. Did you? If I bring home these 29 boxes, my wife's gonna kill me. Cocoa Puffs. Uh, free toy inside. But it doesn't have the Pikachu. You know what's ironic? What's funny is that the Pokemon cereal got no cards. So I'm gonna say go big or go home. Okay. All right, all right, all right. I feel bad though. Just kidding, they're out for sale. They're not for anybody to purchase. I don't want to be a jerk. I'm, I am just playing. You guys know me. I'm a jokester. Look for the Golden Grams. Golden Grams. That's a throwback. 
Who eats golden grams? You still eating golden grams? Or are you just saying that because there's cards in them? Lucky Charms. Cocoa Puffs. All right, let's continue this. I thought somebody was going to walk by. Am I evil for getting all these? Ah, they have them in Golden Grams. Okay. Ah, where am I going to put all this, man? Let me just see. When are these good for? Because I just want to see the expiration on these. Because I'm, I'm going to end up... I'm going to end up donating a lot of this stuff. Yeah. Yeah. Sorry. So the expiration on the cereal is in just less than a year. We're talking 10 months. So these things are good for, I told you, these things have a shelf life. At least these ones. February 22. This one says January 22. So even when... Even when the hype is gone, the cereal is still good. And people are going to be looking for them. A lot of you people think I'm crazy by saying, oh, save the cereal. Come Christmas time, this cereal is still going to be good. And when you want this Pikachu that's going to be worth X amount of dollars, this box is crazy. Let's see. I'm telling you. The hype is going to be gone, and people are going to be looking for these cards. This specific Pikachu. People can sell them now. The price will come down, right? The price is going to go back up. Once everybody that has them doesn't want to sell them. All right. One more box, and then I should have them all. You know there's going to be somebody in the chat that's going to be talking. It's like, why did you take them all? You should have left one. Okay, well, here you go. They can have the, the busted box, all right? There you go, one, here. I'll even put it right here with the price. Boom. We just helped Walmart right there, okay? And then up above, these ones up here, the, those are the big ones. They're not in there. Are these Pokemon, too? Those are churros. Those are actually really good, too. Okay. Got to catch them all. Uh, yeah. That's it, because those cinnamon toast crunch up there doesn't have the Pikachu. See how it has a Pikachu at the front? That one doesn't have it, so those boxes we don't get. Two ninety four at your Walmart for what, the cereal? Yeah, well, I live in the Northeast, so everything's overpriced and overtaxed here. We used to getting ripped off up here. Got some more cereal here. Let's see. It's still got the old promo on it. Um, wait, we got some more cereal over here. Hold on. All right. Well, you know, I mean, look. We definitely did fill a card gang, right? We definitely did fill a card gang. Um, not exactly what we wanted. We got some 55 cent barbecue sauces. We got cinnamon toast crunch cereal that we're gonna hold on to. You guys saw the shelf life on that. Shelf life on that's 10 months. Uh, one of the boxes was 11 months. So cereal, it's, it's got that shelf life. You know what I mean? So. When everybody's run out and these cars can't be found anymore, it is what it is. So uh, I'm gonna take this now and I'm gonna check out. We're gonna get out of here. I'm gonna use my tax exempt, which is why I'm walking by 
self clearance checkout. Hope you guys enjoyed this live. Is there, hold on, let me just answer this real quick. Is there a reason you go on Sundays? Yes. So the reason I go on Sundays at six is because I feel like um, I can reach more people, to be honest with you. Uh, more people are home on Sunday evenings after after dinner time or around dinner time or whatever it is that you're doing. That's why I don't go on too late. When I first started this, I was going on at like eight o'clock and I felt like that was a little too late. So now um, I go Sundays at six and we kind of have a little lineup here where we do Fridays as the hangout, Saturdays is the Pokemon or collectible hangout, and then Sundays is the live hustle. Um, I use BrickSeek for deals. So, or honestly, I use experience for deals because BrickSeek was nothing today, you know what I mean? But um, yeah, I will check you guys later and uh, stay tuned for tomorrow's upload. I think I have one more Florida video left and then that's it. I am going to Florida again next month, so we're going to do some more sourcing from there. More videos, more lives. And um, yeah, like, share, subscribe. Definitely subscribe, guys. Uh, if you're watching this and you're not subscribed yet, why? Just subscribe. You know you want to. And then hit that bell so that you're notified. Yep, I'm live. Hit that bell so you know everything that's going on with the channel. All right? Have a great night, everybody. Enjoy your week. Wake up early. Start hustling. Join the Hustleholics gang if you'd like, and uh, I'll talk to you guys later. Peace out.